Walker. He goes by Watt Walker. The goes to the beat. He keeps going to the keeper. That's the first goal. Brilliant. Time number nine has regained possession. Putting it forward. A shot taken. It's a good cut. Off the net. Oh, that was a cracker. Think it was stunning. Think it was brilliant. All oh, coming off the left foot of Dante. Rick is bumped. Still in possession. Going by one. Swing the pass forward to Beach. A shot by Beach. It's a good back. Off the net. A left foot. Led by three-timers from Jaheim Harris and Richard Henry, Edwin Allen bounced back from the opening round of defeat. The Reddits have the largest margin of victory on the day, walloping Claude McKay by 11 goals to nil in Tuesday's Zone E action from the East Centre Costa Cup football competition. We spoke to coach Tafari Burton of Edwin Allen. Lose in the first game, one to no, you know, we couldn't afford for our spirit to drop. So, you know, we had to go back home, see where we went wrong, you know, and I realized it was some tactical error. And uh, had the Claude McKay today, and we know that, you know, the game wouldn't be easy, but at the same time, it wouldn't be as challenging as being defending champions. I'd say, based on the objectives, my team step up to par. I couldn't really judge my team based on the opponent at a specific way, but based on the objective, we, we fairly met it. Defending champions Clarendon College and Lennon both moved to four points apiece after playing to a lost scoreline. However, three-time champions Glenmuir rose to the top of the group with six points after getting by Denby 4 0 with a double from Javon Boyd. In zone A, William Nib with six points and pushed 12-time winners Cornwall College 4-3, with Mark Lewis and to St. Burgess both landing two-timers. Herbert Morrison also moved to six points with a 1-0 win over Irwin. Holland clipped Maldon by one goal to nil, while St. James and Spot Valley played to a one-all scoreline. In the lone zone C game, the Cobra registered their second victory after getting by Mount St. Joseph by four goals to one, with Chevron Dunkley putting his name on the score sheet twice. In G, Port Antonio and St. Thomas Technical both registered one-nil victories over Seaforth and Paul Vogel, respectively. Now the competition continues on Wednesday with Green Pond meeting Godfrey Stewart, Mannings battling Green Island and Peters Field challenging Rossies in Group B. In C, St. Elizabeth Technical is at home to BB Cook and Monroe features Magatine. In D, Christiana plays Belair, the Cartridge tackles Belfield and Homewood sees Manchester High. In F, Camps Hill and Fogger Road face off, Fair Technical plays Central High and Old Harbour meet Garvey Maceo. And finally in H, McGrath and Charlemont do battle. York Castle tackles St. Mary High and Ocho Rios plays Dintil Technical. Time number nine has regained possession, putting it forward. A shot taken, it's a quick cut off the net. Oh, that was a cracker. Think it was stunning. Think it was brilliant. All oh, coming off the left foot of Dante. Rick is bumped. Still in possession. 